A mysterious anomaly below Africa is weakening Earth's magnetic field. This is the South Atlantic anomaly. Above our heads, something is not right. Earth's magnetic field is in a state of dramatic weakening. And according to mind-boggling research from earlier, this phenomenon, phenomenal disruption is part of a pattern lasting for over a thousand years. Earth's magnetic field does not just give us our north and south poles. It's also what protects us from solar winds and cosmic radiation, solar and cosmic radiation. But this invisible force field is rapidly weakening to the point scientists think it could actually flip with our magnetic poles reversing. As crazy as that sounds, this actually does happen over vast stretches of time. The last time it occurred was about 780,000 years ago, although it got close again around 40,000 years ago. When it takes place, it's not quick, with the polarity reversal slowly occurring over thousands of years. Nobody knows for sure if another such flip is imminent, and one of the reasons for that is a lack of hard data. The region that concerns scientists the most at the moment is called the South Atlantic Anomaly. It's a huge expanse of the field stretching from Chile to Zimbabwe, and the field is so weak within the anomaly that it's hazardous for Earth's satellites to enter here because the additional radiation it's letting through, it's letting through could disrupt their electronics. So even the ISS, when it's passing over there, it doesn't give us any feed uh, because uh, it closes down. Now, from what the uh, physicists from the uh, University of Rochester say, we've known for quite some time that the magnetic field has been changing, but we did not really know if this was unusual for this region on a longer time scale or whether it was normal. This is what physicist Vincent Hare from University of Rochester, New York said. He said, one of the reasons scientists don't know much about the magnetic history of this region of Earth is it lacks what's called archaeomagnetic data, physical evidence of magnetism in Earth's past, preserved in archaeological relics from bygone ages. One such bygone age belongs to a group of ancient Africans who lived in the Limpopo River Valley, which borders Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Botswana, regions that fall within the South Atlantic anomaly of today. Approximately a thousand years ago, these Bantu peoples observed an elaborate, superstitious ritual in times of environmental hardship. During times of drought, they would burn down their clay huts and gray bins in a sacred cleansing rite to make the rains come again, never knowing they were performing a kind of preparatory scientific fieldwork for researchers centuries later. Quote, when you burn clay at very high temperatures, you actually stabilize the magnetic minerals, and when they cool from these very high temperatures, they lock in records of Earth's magnetic field. This is what one of the team, geophysicist John Tarduno, explains. As such, an analysis of the ancient artifacts that survived these burning reveals much more than just the cultural practices of the ancestors of today's Southern Africans. Tarduno said, we were looking for recurrent behavior of anomalies because we think that's what is happening today causing the South Atlantic anomaly. He said, we found evidence that these anomalies have happened in the past, and this helps us contextualize the current change in the magnetic field. Like a compass frozen in time immediately after the burning, the artifacts revealed that the weakening in the South Atlantic anomaly is not a standalone phenomenon of history. Similar fluctuations occurred in the years 400 and 450 to 450 AD, 700 to 750 AD, and uh, uh, 1225 to 1550 AD. And the fact that there is a pattern tells us that the position of the South Atlantic anomaly is not a geographic fluke. Tardino says, we're getting stronger evidence that there's something unusual about the core mantle boundary under Africa that could have an important impact on the global magnetic field. The current weakening in Earth's magnetic field, which has been taking place for the last 160 years or so, is thought to be caused by a vast reservoir of dense rock 
under the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province. It sits about 1,800 miles or 2,900 kilometers below the African continent. It is a profound feature that must be, must be tens of millions of years old, the researchers explain, and while thousands of kilometers across, its boundaries are sharp. This dense region, existing in between the hot liquid iron of Earth's outer core and the stiffer, cooler mantle, is suggested to somehow be disturbing the iron that helps generate Earth's magnetic field. Okay, so this dense region is disturbing the iron that helps generate Earth's magnetic field. There's a lot more research to do before we better understand what's going on here, they said. As the researchers explain, the conventional idea of pole reversals is that they can start anywhere in the core, but the latest findings suggest what happens in the magnetic field above us is tied to phenomena at special places in the core mantle boundary. And if they're right, a big piece of the field weakening puzzle just fell in our lap, thanks to a clay burning ritual millennia ago in Africa. What all this all means for the future, though, no one is certain. Hare said, we now know this unusual behavior has occurred at least a couple of times before in the past 160 years and is part of a bigger long-term pattern. However, it's simply too early to say for certain whether this behavior will lead to a full pole reversal. The findings were reported in Geophysical Review Letters. This was by Peter Dockrell, Science Alert, and it's on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.